Welcome back to the heads and uh, thanks for coming in. We're going to do another sauce review here um, of the Melinda's Creamy Style Ghost Pepper Wing Sauce. So stay tuned and we'll have it right up for you. Alright, so We've got the Melinda's Ghost Pepper Wing Sauce here in condiment. Uh, they're rating this five out of five uh, flames here at the bottom. So this is, uh, they're saying this is the hottest uh, stuff they've got. Um, it says, our philosophy is simple. Heat and flavor mean everything. In Melinda's Kitchen, creamy style ghost pepper wing sauce and condiment is crafted to be a table sauce and a coating for all things buffalo. Together, uh, we blend cayenne, habanero, and ghost peppers together to make the most irresistibly spicy and tangy sauce you've ever slathered on a chicken wing. Says, uh, I'm not going to get into all that, but here it is. We've got some wings I've cooked, so let's get over here and mix it up. Alright, so here we go. Here is our wings to try this Melinda's ghost pepper wing sauce out in. Kind of excited about this one, so let's give her a good shake up here. These were just fresh. I had cooked these in the oven. Uh, our air fryer just broke, and I was going to grill them, but it's supposed to storm. So, but these are still really hot. I like to put the sauce on there while they're hot, and I'm going to put a generous amount on there. Let's give them a good stir. Well, I think we need a little bit more. I see some spots here that's gonna get a really wet wing. I love the wet wings. We go to Roosters, I order the uh, extra wet, where they put the extra sauce on it. So what we'll do here is just let them cool off for a little bit. Uh, as you can see the steam coming off from them, they're really hot. So once they cool, we'll be doing a test of them. Alrighty, we're back over here now and I've given these a chance to cool off. Um, my first instinct on this sauce is it smells really good. Uh, it kind of went on a little thinner than what I traditionally like. Um, I like a thick sauce that really glues to it. Uh, once I've given these a chance to kind of cool off a little bit, it's, it's kind of gotten a little thin on there. Um, but usually the reason I like a lot of sauce is so that I can get all the flavor, all the heat. So if this is right, we won't have to worry about it. So let's get you a good pig leg here. and Let's give this sauce a whirl. Pretty quickly, start getting that little heat in the back of your throat, in your mouth. It's really good. It's really good. This may be one of the best wing sauces I've ever bought to have at home, or that you can buy. This was sent to me by Melinda's to to try. Um, So, give it a second to air right here in my mouth after I've eaten it. That's a, that's a, that is an excellent wing sauce. I mean, it, it's, like I said, it's a little thinner than I, than I usually like, but the amount of flavor in this sauce is, is excellent. Uh, so, 
course, I'm going to finish these all off in a little bit. But uh, to let you all head, go ahead and go, I would give these on a heat scale. I'm going to put these in a, a different category. Usually I have the sauces. I'm going to do this for a wing sauce heat that I've had, uh, that I've purchased, you know, or whatever. Uh, I would give these a good solid eight. They're, it's, it's spicy. It's very, it has heat to it. Uh, the flavor, a nine. I mean, it's, it's definitely a flavor I, I really enjoy. Um, so, I'll, I'll include a link down below if you want to try this out. I uh, highly recommend you do because it's good. So, anyway, chili heads, till we see you next time, keep burning and enjoy that spicy food.